Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Okay, so this is the third of our 200th episodes party. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do a really weird pairing. We, okay, the first one was sent to us, the second one was sent to us, the third one, so here we are. So we have a Sagrantino di Montefalco, excuse me, bless me. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, We've had somebody that reached out to the wine community and said that jazz music pairs really great with wine, which yeah. I think it does. Yeah. Always. So, Always. because it is the Lone Ranger and the Lone Ranger, we should pair them together, right? There you go. And they happen to. So, to start this last like little mini episode, um, episode, mm -hmm. we have <laughs> one three three seven wine producing these videos with their fanta fantastic technologies <laughs> and videos and webinology, all this working. stuff. Stream Venusly speaking, and <laughs> wine blog, yes, and wine to find wine shop. So I'm Sassy Barreto, Mark Fusco, Melissa, Melissa Ansel. Ansel. yes, Melissa Ansel. So. Okay, last one for our 200th episode. Very exciting. We don't just do one 200th episode, we do three. Two. Do three, because you, you know, well. it's that good. Because mm, we're three. <laughs> three. Yeah, Easy as one, two, three. Easy as one, two, three. And Glee just did that on their Glee. Yeah. On Glee. <laughs> Glee. Uh, Whatever it would. Okay. <laughs> so, um, first is the CD. Uh, if you can see it, I don't know if you can. If you can't, okay, so it's Anders Holst. Anders Holst. Anders, A N D E R S. Anders Holst, H O L S T. Um, so, he is adult contemporary music with a jazz forte, um, rooted in European pop and jazz soul music. So I think everyone here would appreciate that. Um, the exploring themes are romance, isolation, optimism. Oh, ee. so much fun. He's from Sweden, from Ikea land. Um, he is, grew up with his father's diverse collection of Artie Shaw, Duke Ellington, Frank Sinatra, um, the Supremes, Dionne Warwick, Bert Bacharach, all these wonderful things. Singer is amazing. I'm a big fan of Frank Sinatra, so I love him. Um, oh, blue eyes. Ah. Okay. Um, so he has this second full length recording album, Soho Sweet. It was out June 7th. It's an ode to his New York neighborhood and the emotions it is. It ex it inspires. Have you been to New York? Yes. Yes. Plenty of times. Absolutely. I'm from the area. Ew. Jersey. Ew. Okay. Jersey. 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 <laughs> 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 Absolutely. Forget about it. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so, so we thought that we were going to pair this wine with something equally intense and extreme, mm -hmm. with a European background, interesting with roots. Yeah. So we go Italian. Mm, Italian. Might as well. Because <laughs> <laughs> Frank Sinatra was Italian, right? <laughs> okay. So we have My from the. I punched him, by the way. Oh. Seriously, in Hoboken. Wow. Popped him. I don't know. I, I probably would have kissed him, but. <laughs> 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 yes, literally. Yes, yeah, my grandfather. Yeah. Wow. Back inside I like had a story of my grandfather. My mother's father. No. Oh. The Irishman oh, punched the Italian. Okay. That never happened in Jersey in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought that we would pair this fabulous jazz CD, Fabulous, with an Italian grape varietal that I personally have never tasted. Um, I would I would just like to say that I have just completed my wine century club certification with I'm the I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere yes. 
I don't know where I'm at. I, I, I don't have, I don't know how close I am to the hundred, but I have to go back and look yeah, at the I whole have thing. about thirty-nine more to go. <laughs> so I, I admire I'm you. I'm probably close to <laughs> where you're at. I, I have a hundred forty. This is hundred and forty-one. <laughs> I have never tasted Sagrantino, but a Check gentleman has contacted me about this, and he said you should try it. So I said okay. So. It's from uh, the Umbria region, mm -hmm. Umbria, Umbria region of yeah. Italy. Umbria. Yeah. It's kind of According to certain middle, historians, south. was followers of Saint Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of patron saint of animals, animals, animals. Yay! patron saint of animals. Um, so yes, it's the re Renaissance of Montefalco, which is the area it's from. So Sagrantino is the grape. Montefalco is the region. Um, this is aged 22 months in French oak, so it's going to be a bit more tannic. Air it out if you can. So we're going to pour it. Air you got it. it. Got it. Agitation. And I, I, I can tell you what that is. Let me tell you what it means. Ooh, what Cole is piano. it? Cole is hill in Italian. Okay. Mm. And piano is soft, so soft hills. Nice. Mm. Soft hills. Mm. Check him out. Soft hills. Well, the, mm. the original name of the piano is the piano forte because it can play soft and loud. Mm. So, uh, uh, you know, where the harpsichord can only play, or clavichord can only play one volume. Kind Did of. you play an instrument when you were that? Yeah. yeah. I have a degree in music. What? <laughs> yeah. I have a degree in music. Yeah. Piano and violin were my instruments. How did I not know this? <laughs> okay. What? Because you don't go. Okay, okay. That's because you don't go to Mars.me and look at that blog. Okay, I would just <laughs> I like to I don't say that's where that's where all the weird that's where all the other okay, stuff happens. Okay, so you're doing this. So I played flute, drums, bass, uh -huh. clarinet, guitar. Right. He was in band. Tenor sax. Tenor sax. There you go. She was in band. Trumpet. Uh -huh. Band nerds. He was in band. Almost. Almost. French horn. Were you in band? No. Boo. Were you in band? Band over here. Were you in band? Football, there you go. She so played he's piano. associated with the band because he was he was football. So mm -hmm. piano. This is we played. Okay. He played for our halftime show. Before um, and after. <laughs> Nothing. Before and after. Did he? He's plays guitar now. Um, flag. I played the flute, Alex the uh -huh. saxophone, Early. and piano. There you go. Yeah. Ah, nice. High five. High five. High five. High five. Yeah. I played drums. And We're all very musical here. I love it. So we have to play the music on. on yeah. Um. And, and if you go into my car. Theater in high school. And, and me being the me being the guy that that has a degree in music. What happens when I go into my car? What serious radio station I have? I have station 52, which is. <laughs> All right. All the electronic dance music going on. I love that. Okay. That's that's pretty much what I listen to all the time. Okay. So what do we smell in these? Oh yeah, we haven't got this. Attention, attention, s'il vous plaît, everybody. No, we're still waiting. Um, if anybody has tasted this grape varietal, this is my first time tasting it myself. Being a 140 varietal taster. Anybody? Has anybody tasted the Sagrantino? I tasted it. <laughs> I get more cl uh, like clean on the nose, but <laughs> my mom wasn't in band, but she was a cheerleader. I would just like to say so my mom was a cheerleader. Pink dinner. You the turpentine aspect of I just get I just get kind of clean, not. No, we're going to the same center. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. No, no, no. Arnaldo, Arnaldo Capre. Uh -oh. We do have a point of contention here. Oh, what happened? What, what did I miss? On Thanksgiving, I have a wine. It's still back there, but I have a wine that smells like paint thinner. Paint thinner? Well, you're getting paint thinner. It's a fault. It's a fault. Yeah, I'm not getting the paint thinner on this. No, I am getting a... Are you? A yeah, the nail there's polish. A slight, slight, maybe more than the nail, but there's a slight chemical. A slight yeah. chemical thing. I don't think this is what it's supposed to taste like. Thank you. Alright, well, let's, let's taste it. Let's taste it. See, uh -huh. see if it's. Who knows? It could be. It could be a faulted wine. We'll see. No. Yeah, I it's not supposed so. to taste like that. Oh. I taste the paint there in my day, and the thing is. I don't like it. What? It's a no. Mr. There's no, there's no minerals. Oil based? It's nice, it's nice. Yeah. It's tannic for sure. It's, it's nice and dry. It's a lot of oil. It's the moisture of your tongue. Very like chewy. Chewy, like, I'm, I'm, that's what I'm going. 
Oh my I'm loving this. But you need some pretty heavy days. Days. I know it. Yeah, you need you need some good uh, you need some head meat, yeah. A bolognese sauce. Mm -hmm. Minigot, as the uh, people in Jersey say. All right. So if, if I can have everybody, 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 everybody. Too long. But it's gonna be fresh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I would just like to say something. So Sagrantino, I don't know that there's like a point of contention. People like it, people don't. I don't know if it's supposed to have like this tunic paint thinner thing, but this is what's happening. So, being that this is the case, fashion wise, how are you going to be like intense like that? Like, how are you going to be like on the border? Like, is it right? Is it not? So, with this wine, only if it's no, with this wine. You're gonna go extreme. You're gonna go runway couture. You're gonna go crazy. You're gonna have leather bottom, feather top, and a crazy, crazy headpiece with intense purple makeup. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I like, mm, like, purple, like this. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay, Sagrantino, I'm not gonna lie. This has been open for a while. It's very tannic. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be. It has been aged 22 months in French oak. I think with a nice steak, this would be really well. Um, it's got to be like steak pizza all lunch uh -huh. mm. from Paisano's. It's intense. I'm not gonna lie. Because it's the black tongue. I don't know if it's the bottle or if it's the style because I've never tasted Sagarantino before. I'm enjoying this a lot. I'm really enjoying this. I'm really enjoying this. I'm not enjoying this. Also getting some raspberry type of. Yeah, you get you eating the raspberry Joe. Yeah, very raspberry type of stuff. Yeah. See, this is this is the kind of wine I like because it really draws people like it separates them. Like, do you like it? Do you not? What's about it? What's not? A lot of discussion. So. This wine, this wine reaches out and hits you in the mouth. It's like the Lady Gaga of wine. Just saying. I like that Lady Gaga. It is. It kind of is. Monster. Bob. Like a lot of people like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I really like this one, but it's bold. It, it's 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 big. It really it really hits you. Um, it's a food wine. Definitely a food wine. So can we pair it to the contemporary a, a, music a of jazz? Let's do it. Let's do it. Jazz. A, a, a bolognese sauce with, with, with some good meat in it. We do. We're going to be passing around a cheese. Oh, there we go. Cheese. Everybody, everybody. Silence, s'il vous plaît. Silence. We're not finished. Silence. Silence. There you go. Silence. Okay. So we have the jazz CD. Which oh, yeah. do we think oh, it yeah. pairs with it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I haven't listened to the whole CD, but from what I have listened to, Why? maybe it's a bit more soft than the wine we paired it to. I, I, th I think the wine maybe overpowers the music so far. We heard, but the music was Lady good. Like, we heard already. Pause up. But maybe like opposite the track, like the soft There's jazz it. compared with the like yeah. intense so the intensity of the wine. wine. A contrast mm -hmm. rather than the complementary. Ooh, but yeah. Okay, so imagine mellow jazz like yeah. other ones. So right. so imagine like you have like a nice steak and like garlic potatoes and like fun things like that. So then you have the jazz. In any case, we paired it with the Sagrantino. So right. Sagrantino, try the grape bridal. It's really extreme, but try it. Um, Sagrantino de Montefalco uh, from Arnaldo Capre. So try that. We're gonna do a drawing for the Jazz CD. We don't have another bottle, but we'll draw it. We'll draw it. Okay, draw. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Okay, pick the pick the number. You ready? You got it. All right. <laughs> Alright. Everybody, are you paying attention? Five, Last six. three numbers are seven, six, ocho. What? Seven, six, eight. That'd be eight in English. Seven, six, eight. Uh oh. 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 <laughs> so, so, enjoy your jazz CD. Enjoy your jazz. There you go.
You can burn it. So anyway, um, silence. Oh. God, God. So silence, silence, silence. What, Dolce? Silence from the gallery. <laughs> We'd like to say thank you, Andres Holst, for your jazz CD, yes. and you. Arnaldo Capre for the Sagrantino, yeah. and a rose to go by it. Yay! Absolutely. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you, last episode. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. This is excellent. Thank you. It's just been wonderful to be here. Yay. I want to thank everyone thank for you. hanging out till almost 11 o'clock at night. Thank you. Seriously. We started like a little after thank 8 you for the so much. So, yeah. um, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. Uh, 200th plus episode. We're at 203, 4, somewhere around. Five, or, five, wherever five, it is. Yeah. Um, 210 coming up soon. 210 is going to be the karaoke episode, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Wine and karaoke. We'll do a fashion show on 211. Um, so we got that. <laughs> let's try that next time. Stop by the website. I'll have links to everything uh, for the for the wine, uh, for the for the, for the uh, wine shop, and for Vinnesley Speaking, um, all that stuff. And I uh, just want to thank everyone again for coming out. And it's been wonderful to have uh, Sissy Melissa here. And uh, we'll see everybody again next time.